guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 6 of the Aquatrope on White Sands. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. Oh, it's really in the newspaper. Oh. Heck, I would have watched this last Thursday, um, but because of the fact is with getting ready to get on the road and ish, I thought I was going to have time to at least watch this show and then only have to worry about like the Friday and Saturday stuff that I had to get done by the time I came back from Disney on Saturday night, even though when I got home, I, I crashed for two whole days, like, I woke up sat, uh, Sunday morning and I was still exhausted from walking around all day um, and ish. Even though like when I got into the hotel I did sleep but when I came home I, I was sleeping and such and I was like okay. I was like I will take one more day off and then on Monday after I'm done watching TV Eternity and Love Life Superstar I gotta get this stuff done. Then next thing you know, I wake up, I record Superstar, and I'm about to record to Eternity, and my computer just messes up. My fi uh, my software wasn't working, so I had to restart my computer and everything, and I am almost done. I just got one more show to do, and after this, I gotta edit everything, get it all out for tomorrow morning so that you guys can watch all this stuff. But, oh, it was very stressful last week going over into the weekend to this week. Cooking it? Yeah, you're straining. <laughs> well, huh. <laughs> Could you stop being mean? No, 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 no. Something might happen. You can use ice cream for gamma gamma. Mm-hmm. Or you can make, like... Oh, my God. Like, the mold things. It could be a fish and penguins and squids... And that could be sold. By you two. Well, and you. And Udon. Plus, I feel like Udon would really enjoy it. <laughs> huh? 
Can you imagine if she made like a galaxy type suite? Oh my god, let's see. This is just making me hungry and I, still, I got one more show to go and then I can eat my pizza. <laughs> I just want to be around penguins for a day. Really? Well, you might as well just go ahead and start with A. Okay. Oh, you see the star fruit? Oh my god. Yeah, that's not really enough, though. You need at least, like, 20,000. Or maybe 30. This is right. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? Oh, Instagram! Really more of the, the memories that you have and spending with others and just the way it makes you feel. <laughs> Come on!
What's up? Seriously? You're right. Oh, come on, Claire. Remember with the ice cream and you trying different flavors and combinations and everything? There you go. That's beautiful.
Of course. Mm-hmm. Just how the veterinarian saw her, um, her, uh, son. Dory. Are you going to see your mom and dad? Everyone feels that way. Ow! (laughs) (laughs) Oh, they decorated the cubs! Mm. 
This was a really good episode. I love the fact that, you know, Udon was pri primarily, she is the main, she was the main focus of this week's episode and having her be the one to create the ideas of, oh, hey, let me decorate, you know, the, um, <laughs> the cubs and making shaved ice and everything. I think it was a really good idea that everybody came up with. And everyone did a really good job. One other thing that I love about this series and specifically Gama Gama Aquarium is the connection that the person has coming here. Everybody has a certain memory connection with someone and they're able to see loved ones that they've lost so many years ago in, in water, which is phenomenal and amazing and very different because you're like, where else can you see this in an anime? Like, oh my God, I can't. The feels that, that just, I can't. This is <laughs> too much. And we're still at the start of this gorgeous, beautiful, amazing, <sighs> breathtaking, <laughs> so many other words I could say, visual masterpiece. And I feel like there's more to be shown that still, once again, as I said with the first week of this show, this is the most underrated show of this year. And I honestly cannot wait to see what else is going to be in store for these two. But for this week, this is a really good idea. Also using Instagram. Awesome. I hope so too. <laughs> Good, huh? <laughs> I think Udon will, you know, be a really good shop owner. I mean, her, you know, I, I will say this. You know how, like, some people, you know, have, like, weird food combinations? Like, okay, when I was a kid, I, I don't know if everybody did this. I would always eat macaroni and cheese and barbecue sauce together. I thought that was so good. I don't know why a anybody who I told this to thought I was on drugs. My my dad liked eggs and ketchup, and, and really, that's staple. I think a lot of people like that. Me, I, I remember one time, like, it was just scrambled eggs and ketchup, and I was just like, no, because I like a, a cheese in my eggs, and then having that, I'm like, mm -mm, it, it just, I was like, the ketchup, like, takes too, it overpowers the cheese oh so much. But I think the combinations that she did with the shaved ice was a really good idea, plus adding, you know, her own twist and creations on it, and making the shaved ice look like a sea creature. I thought that was really cute. Kukuru. Seeing her parents and then seeing herself older. Oh, if this series is gonna end like a pretty cure moment where Kukuru, um, Kazu, Kazuya, um, Fuka, Udon, everyone in this show who is specifically a teenager or a young adult older by the end of the series round of a freaking applause because I mean they did that specifically with the world and colors especially with the fact is that the girl who stars in that show she was like I think 15 16 and she was coming back into the year of 2018 when her grandmother was um 
a teenager, so she got to have, like, a better relationship with her grandmother, and then also fall in love with someone who she never really was going to see again, which even by the end of the damn series when I finished it and I did a reaction on it, I was crying my butt off because I was like, these two are never going to see each other again. But I think w if they really truly do a moment where these characters are aged up by the end of the series, I think that will truly be amazing and beautiful because we're seeing them as teenagers trying to figure out a way to save this aquarium and then I felt like by the end of this series we're going to see them older coming back to it where Kukuru is still working at the aquarium herself and Fuka comes to see her and they're older and they're much wiser and it's still thriving and such and that they can both experience those memories just by walking in but really this is a really sweet episode almost made me want to cry at everything like Jesus like every single week this show makes you feel so many different emotions and that's one of the many things of why I was really truly excited for this show when I first heard everything about it but it was a damn good episode but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode six of the aquatropa white sand if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the national squad and of course i will see you guys officially on i'm about to say saturday <laughs> on thursday for episode seven bye guys